Greetings to our friends and our subscribers. We want to thank you for tuning in to another installment of Mount Bethel Church of God's Relevant Word. My name is Reverend Lloyd. I'm one of the associate ministers at Mount Bethel Church of God and also the director of our college ministry, The Bridge. And we bring you greetings and love from our pastor, the Bishop Dr. Cecil G. Mullings, and our co-pastor, Reverend Dolores Mullings, all of our leaders, and the Mount Bethel Church family, we extend our love to you for choosing to share this time with us. It's five o'clock somewhere, and that means it's time for another relevant word. But for our faithful supporters, you already know what comes next, so you should already be on your feet, or you should have the bass turned up in those headphones wherever you are, because we are getting ready to be blessed with another wonderful selection by our music ministry and we don't just want you to sit back and enjoy but we want you to get involved participate worship and praise with us as a matter of fact i'm going to join you let's go and join in the worship has anybody come to worship the lord if that's you then join us we're getting ready to praise and sing and shout about the goodness i want you to clap your hands i want you to stomp your feet i want you to lift your voice like a trumpet in Zion. Here we go. To join me and say, say this. Anybody here who loves my Jesus? Anybody here who loves my Jesus? Anybody here who loves the Lord? Yeah. Anybody here Come on and say that again. Who loves the Lord? Yeah. Anybody here who loves my Jesus? Anybody here who loves my Jesus? Jesus. Anybody here who loves my Jesus? Anybody here who loves the Lord? Yeah. Anybody here? Come on, give me who loves the Lord? Yeah. Anybody here who loves my Jesus? Anybody here who loves my Jesus? Anybody here who loves the Lord? Yeah. Anybody here who loves the Lord? Yeah. I want to know. Lift your voice, 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 lift your
Hallelujah. What a wonderful selection from our music ministry. I know that's going to be blessing me for the rest of this week, and I hope it blesses you too. Man, I don't even have to say anything. We can just take it on to the next episode right here because I'm already blessed. And while that may be true, I would like to leave you with a little thought. I just want to ask you a few questions. Just think of the type of person that comes to mind when I say these words. Criminal murderer, liar, irresponsible, immoral, foolish. Chances are the person that you're thinking of isn't someone you're going to invite to the family barbecue. It's not going to be someone you want to associate yourself with or call them friend. Not someone you want running your business. Not someone you want to have your kids around probably be right in assuming that. But I want to tell you a few stories from the Bible or a few parables, if you will, that Jesus told. And the parable is nothing more than a snippet of real life that Jesus used to illustrate the greater narrative of the kingdom of heaven. And there's one in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 12 to 14, where Jesus tells the story of the lost sheep. Basically what it says, there were a hundred sheep, but then one decided to wander off. One decided to be a deviant and go their own way. But what the shepherd did, instead of scoffing at them and just taking care of what he had left, he went after that one sheep and was happier for that one sheep being found than the 99 that were secure because that sheep mattered then. And there's another parable in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, verses 11 to 32. You may be familiar with it. It's the story of the prodigal son. There was a younger son who took his inheritance and went out and squandered it on riotous living and was very immoral and did a lot of acts that we would frown upon. But then the same way he finessed his way out of his father's house, he was going to try to finesse his way back in. And he came up with a sob story. And before he could even get to the doorstep, here comes the father embracing the younger son, throwing him a party. But the older brother, he was upset. He said, I've been here this whole time. I've been faithful. You never threw me a party. But the father said, this son's life matters right now. And finally, there's a story again in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 10 to 14. It tells the story of two men. One was a Pharisee, a high religious leader. The other, a publican, tax collector. The most deplorable, the most criminal, lying position that you can have as far as Jewish culture was concerned. And they both prayed a prayer. The Pharisee, look how righteous I am, look how great I am. I'm so glad that I can live this life and not be like that publican. Meanwhile, the publican, his head bowed, beat against his chest and said, I'm not worthy, God. And Jesus said it was the publican's prayer that was more justified because while they both prayed prayers, that prayer mattered then. And I know right now we're living in a crazy time in society. There's a lot of civil unrest and people are protesting and you know, all these things for black rights and and systemic racism against people and the Mount Bethel Church of God is behind it 100% our bishop and our pastor Dr. Cecil G. Mullings support and stand by the black community as we endure these heinous acts from those in authority but I want to challenge us even as Christians in the church to make another bold statement that if there was a spiritual protest going on right now I believe Jesus would raise a sign like this. Sinful lives matter. I know you don't want them singing next to you on the choir, obviously. I know you don't want them sitting next to you in church. I know you don't necessarily want them passing around the offering plate to you. But Jesus made a bold statement that it's, it's not about the righteous. As a matter of fact, he said in Luke chapter 5, verse 32, that I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And as we get ready to go back into our church buildings, as we get ready, hashtag back to Bethel, we need to take a new perspective. It's not just about awarding the faithful. 
It's not just about lifting up those that have been working for the church for 30 plus years. While the church couldn't go on without those folks, these are the folks that matter right now. It's about the sinners. It's about those that don't know Christ. And if you don't know Christ, I want you to know today that you matter. And after this video, there'll be an opportunity, a chance for you to call in and for us to connect. But if you don't mind, I just want to pray a prayer for you right now. Pray a prayer for all those who are listening and going through something. I can't think of a more relevant word than this right now. Let's look to God in prayer. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We thank you for life. We thank you, God, that while we were yet sinners, you died. You didn't wait for us to get it together. You didn't wait for us to say the right thing or do the right thing. You valued us so much that if it was just me, Christ, you would have come and died on the cross. And we thank you, God. And our prayer for those of us who are already in the faith is that we would extend, give us the grace to extend the same mercy, the same value, uh, to, to make the same sacrifices and lay down our lives for others who don't know you as you did for us while we were strangers to one another. And God, I pray for anyone who may not be living a life that is pleasing unto you that may be watching this video, help them to put aside pride, help them to put aside their agendas and just surrender. And Lord, this is also that the kingdom of heaven can be found here on earth. And we can only do that, Lord, is if we give place to sinners. Help us, God, to change our perspective if it needs to be changed. Help us, God, Holy Spirit, prick our hearts and let us be merciful unto others. And let us find you and know you in your saving power. We give you thanks, we give you glory, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's the word for the week. We thank you so much for joining us on behalf of our Bishop, Dr. Cecil G. Mullings, and our co-pastor, Reverend Dolores Mullings, our assistant pastor, Bishop Gary Sean Mullings, his wife, and all the hosts of ministers and friends. We thank you for joining us for another installment of the Mount Bethel Relevant Word. Stay tuned for more information. My name is Reverend Lloyd, and I'll see you around. Before you go, we wanted you to know that if you do not know the Lord as your personal Savior or you're in need of prayer, feel free to reach out to us. You can call or text the number listed below. That number is 609-531-8388. A member of our ministerial team will be glad to pray with you and encourage you in the Lord. Again, thank you for worshiping with us. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. God bless you.